Hey guys, it's Sniper Girl here, and today we are playing episode, and we're playing a game. Um, and we're playing this story that's called Mean Girls Senior Year, but the game is called Episode. Hold on. I have to do this thing, this ad, before I do it. For some reason, I don't want to get out of the ad right now. Makes no sense. So we're back, and so we're playing. Okay, so here's what's that. I'm Katie. That's what this is. Well, Micaiah digested our auditions. The snow finally melted away. In the meantime, and in the meantime, I kept the ball rolling on Operation Outwit Regina. First stop. First stop, finding out why I stand on the wait list. If Regina is ahead of me, then fighting this war could be pointless. Okay, Miss Knight, I have some good news. Did I get in? Not yet, but you are in the top 10th percentile. Oh, wait. Hmm. What? Nothing. That was weird. So anyway, I can get my exact standing, like, non percentile wise We don't give out that information. I won't tell anyone if you don't. I suggest you focus on keeping your grades up and praying enough, and praying enough of the kids we did accept decide to go elsewhere. There has to be something I can do to find out exactly where I don't take bribes. What? I wasn't offering. Right. Best of luck, Miss Knight. Ugh. Remember, two years till retirement. This is Judy. Hi, I'm checking to see where I am on the waist list. Okay, last name. Okay, last name, first name. Last name Knight, first name Katie. You girls need to... Work this out between yourselves. Damn. After the Judy fiasco, I decided to summon my courage and straight up ask Regina about her weightless position. So the next day, before Makaya announced his cast, where is it? He hasn't posted it yet. But hey, I want to talk to you. About, I know you're on the wait list, and I know you know I am. And if one of us is obviously way ahead, then there's no reason for this. This, you, you doing the play, us grappling for control of every club. I don't know what you mean. Fine, I'm on the top ten percentile. Okay, okay, so where are you? It doesn't matter. I don't know if you're telling the truth. So your, rev so your revelation changes nothing. She has a point. He's coming. He's coming. Ahem. <clears throat> First, thank you all for auditioning for No Sure. Uh, sorry, sorry. North Shore High School's spring theatrical production of my play, The Love Delusion. Oh, please. 
Gentlemen, while I truly appreciated your auditions, I came to the difficult conclusion that none were powerful enough to carry the male lead. As such, in addition to writing and directing, I myself will play the role of Caleb. Woo! What? Damien, of course, I'm happy to offer you the roles of bus driver man, of bus driver, man number two, friend, fiend, and man number three. That's great, Damien. Imagine all of the costume changes. Good call. I accept. Awesome. Now for the female lead. The role of Cassandra was the most difficult decision of all, which is why I haven't made it yet. What? Why? Instead, throughout rehearsals, Katie and Regina will share the role. Trading back and forth between lead and understudy until I'm confident with which actress has both the most talent and the truest passion for my play. Mmm, juicy. Perfect. Perfect? Really? Doesn't bother me. I welcome the challenge. Challenge? Ha. If you can even call it that. Feel free to quit now. Save it for the stage, ladies. What about me? Hmm. Damon, can you take on woman number two as well? Can I? Great. Sorry, Bernice, we don't have any roles left. Hold on, there is that thunderstorm in Act 2. Can you hit a symbol? Yes, yes. Done. Bernice will be our sound technician. Congratulations to you all. Rehearsals start Monday. And my mom slams the van door literally two seconds before the lion. Are you going to tell me what's wrong? Or do you want me to keep rambling about my childhood? What do you mean? You've been lost You've been lost in, the, in thought this, this whole time. What's up? Kind of lost my appetite. Yeah, it was one thing, but now Regina's after Micaiah, too. She's... Like a black hole sucking up everything that matters to me. Three million is a lot of money. I get it, but yellow's half my identity. I can't put a price on that. Anyway, there's no way Regina likes Micaiah. And there's no way he likes her. It'll be the first time Regina's used the guy for personal gain. Believe me. It's so messed up how she totally how she's totally using him. Aren't you kinda using him too? Against my will. I don't see any other choice, do you? Sadly, no. My kind and I are friends. And honestly, when I'm on stage, all the yell drama kind of melts away. I really kinda love doing this play. Well, hmm. Well maybe you can Pull ahead of Regina with the interview. Interview? Sorry, I figured you knew. There's some college fair this weekend. I guess Regina scored a sit-down interview with the um, Yale alum. How do you know about this and I don't? You really need to start watching Karen's channel. I can't believe those words came out of my mouth. The night before he the night before he set everything up by email. He it just came it it's just some alum. All I have to do I'm sorry. It's win him over. If you need any pointers, I do interviews all the time. Knowing their name is a good place to start. Regina, for instance. Great advice, Karen. His name is Parker Epps. He seems like a major toolbox. 
Now I want to look polished and professional, but he's but still hot enough to he'd want to smash. Thanks, Sadie. If Regina has an interview, I have to have one too. Just gotta find that college fair and get in touch with that album. Uh, they have one interview spot left. Boom, yell is my destiny. After the blood drive fiasco, this might be my last chance to, to one up Regina. I have got to find a way to enter ahead with this interview. I know I was supposed to say just be yourself, but honestly, I just web stalked the live and be Jesus out of him. I did. Parker has like zero online presence. The only thing I found was a hello sheriff dating profile. Wait, what? Let me see. Oh my god. Yeah, so 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 all I found out is that Parker Epps is actually a woman. Which knocks out seduction as Regina's primary gambit. But that's not enough. Do you realize the gold mine you've you've happened upon? What do you mean, Katie? Katie, sweetie, the internet just handed you the keys to Parker's heart, so seduction might be off the table for Gina, but not for you. You want me to make a fake profile to flirt with an admissions rep? That's that's so messed up. I can't do that. You have to. What I did, what I, what did I tell you after the blood drive? Regina's out there fighting for yell with the tank, and you're frockling around with the tinfoil sword. This is your ace in in the hole. Look, we just used. Photos of stock model. Let's see. Find a cute one? Of course, I searched Chin Dimple. Obviously, he loves to cook. Play, plays tennis on the weekends. Might be a dentist. What are you going to call yourself? So we're going to name myself Katie. Katie. Wait, Katie is perfect, so she's worth it. Katie is perfect. Okay. Katie is perfect. So How about Katie is how about Katie is perfect so she's worth it. Well well Katie is Well well Katie is perfect so she's worth it. It's time to bat your digital eyelashes and pump Parker for personal details. Turns out turns out as Katie I was quite the charmer. And once Parker shared her whole profile, I had a treasure trove of interview ammo. Cat allergy check. Bleeding heart liberal big time. Obsessed with Emma Hemingway. Insanely 
loves peacoats. Oh, uh, what's that, Miss Epps? You'd like to meet IRL once you're back from your work trip? Would love that. Dinner next Tuesday? Hugs, kisses. Who is Katie is perfect, so she's worth it. Um, he's a famous DJ. Oh, neat. She seemed to buy that. Ring, ring. What's up? I had a lightning bulb moment. It's going to sound crazy, but hear me out. Always. So I'm right by the cafe where you're meeting Parker. You know how there's always a cop patrolling around here? I do. Regina has to drive by him on her way to the interview. Go on. So what if someone calls to report a vehicle that coincidentally matches the description of Regina's. It's heading this way, driving erratically, swerving hither and thither. The caller suspects a DUI. Hmm. A field sobriety test would really throw Regina off her game. At minimum, it would make her super late. And if Regina blows this interview, she can kiss y'all goodbye. Okay, since I don't have 44 gems, we're going to use, we're going to put, we can't. We can't do that. Whatever. It was fun to think about. Good luck at your interview. Thanks, Janice. Now back to the matter at hand. Okay, like a mess. Modern. Like a mess. It's game time. Unfortunately for Regina, Miss George. Okay, so Regina, tell me when you want to go to EM. For as long as I can remember my grandpa, I yell at him himself. Three minutes later. I love you so much, I even went as the mascot for Halloween. Go Bulldogs. Hmm, I wasn't aware Bulldogs were fishnet stockings. I'm afraid our time is up. Oh, okay. So do you need anything else? Nope, I got all that I need to know. But without a worthwhile reason to want yell, Regina was grasping for straws. Katie, so you're stalking me now? Like Janice said, to stand a chance against Regina, I need to dirty up my fight. Let's not bother ourselves. I'm also here to interview. Explains why I dress like a circus ringmaster. <laughs> I bet your outfit made quite an expression on Miss Epps. I made sure to do my research on Parker, or Peps79, as she's known online. For your information, my interview could have gone better. That's great, because it'd be just terrible for Parker to see the epitome of her shirt when you're when where you call him a major toolbox. She won't. I made Karen take it down. Well, as I'm sure you know, once something's been on the internet, it's hard to completely erase. I hope there's not a copy flooding around somewhere. <laughs> I happy. I just might. I doubt it. Okay, I don't need to prove it. Do I? You think it's been competitive so far? I've been room tempt at most. You do not want to get me heated. 
There goes nothing. I was using the whole bit. Sorry, I keep coming off topic, but you're a delight to chat with. You too. Back to it. Katie, who would you say you most admire? My mom. How so? Specifically, Hemingway's portrayal of Santiago, the old man in the sea. He never gives up in the face of adversity, no matter how hopeless things seem. It's a quality I strive to exhibit myself. For example, I had to transfer schools this year, which isn't easy as a senior, but I didn't let it stop me from pursuing my goals. I just had to work <laughs> That's what y'all looked for in its students' tenacity. I didn't know how to put, how, I didn't know, I don't know to what extent my input can impact your weightless status. But, and I don't say this ever, I will be relaying my very highest recommendation. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Finally, it felt like the clouds had parted and a ray of hope was shining through. But the thrill was short lived. I mean, was short lived. <laughs> Micaiah's play had turned into a total nightmare. It was as if pizza therapy never happened, as if we never kissed. After two weeks of rehearsals, we were back to bickering like the first day of school. But Cassandra, love, it's nothing more than a protected dynamic between two people. Really, Micaiah? Really, Micaiah, what? I get that you're expressing your point of view, but this passage is. And nobody speaks like this, not to mention thinks like this. I think like this. Fine. But if that's really how you, how, how you feel about love, you're laying on it a little thick. How do you know about love? I know enough. At least enough to know that this passage is whiny nonsense. Well, I know more than enough to be certain what I've read is neither whining nor nonsense. So you say, please why don't you tell us all about the trials and tribunes of our last relationship. I don't have to have, I don't have to have had a boyfriend to know about love. And I don't have to, and I don't have to value the input of someone who has only ever romanced her GPA. Ouch. For what it's worth, Makaya, I've been in lots of relationships. What you wrote is pure truth. Thank you, Regina. In fact, I'd like to see what you do with this scene. Take a breather, Katie. Fine. Feel free to take notes. Okay, I don't feel like reading all this right now, so.
it's, it gets annoying because you have to read a lot of stuff. So... Okay, guys, so that's the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed watching me play that episode of it. So, yeah, bye.